Hello and welcome everybody. Akmodiel here and uh, and now next gala has been dropped and we now have the new event. This will be a event overview and probably after this um, I'll be doing a shitty spark on the uh, on the uh, current uh, gala banner. Um, I'll quickly be going over um, some endeavors because there's some interesting things in the endeavors that that I did not expect at all and also i do want to talk about the raid event a little bit because it could have some serious stuff in there but i like hopefully you guys do enjoy and do consider subscribing and and looking at the links down below especially if, especially the discord server of where of where we just have a lot of people in there and a lot of people are learning right now all right and it's honestly just a good time in there so so i would appreciate it just if you were to join at the discord so let's get into the event shall we First of all, the music. Honestly, pretty good. It's honestly pretty damn good, all right? <laughs> Here we go. It, it, it's like techno, but it works. It works because of how, because of how the story is placed, all right? It really fucking works. Like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It just works on so many levels. I'm a, I'm a fan of it. Um, Endeavors are, are honestly, uh, are honestly, uh, the same. He is a free man at 50. So, we'll definitely take that into, into, uh, consideration. It definitely is. So, and if I'm correct, uh, the Omega Keys are, are in the same spots. Yep, 600, 600, and 3,000. Same spots? Yep, same spots. So nothing has changed on that department. Uh, Blazons, uh, honestly, same. You just uh, get those. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that Nightmare does open up on the 3rd, so that's in like 3 to 4 days. But on the 5th, this I have to mention, right? Because this is w something I need to address. Remember, on the 5th, that's when Galazena leaves. And also, on the 5th, we're getting more story added to this event. Because already as is, there are like 8, 8, 8 goddamn tra chapters. So, it's a lot. There's a lot of story in here. And honestly, the story's great. But, with this, keep this in mind now. We might get a part 2. That has Ilya. And maybe Elysium with it? It's either Elysium or or fucking Dio ass over here. But yeah, like it's a serious possibility we could get a part two having Ilya. So definitely keep that in mind, all right? All right, all right. Uh, before you guys go completely ham on the banner, keep a part two in mind. It won't be Gala. So 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 just if Ilya were to be on there, she would be harder to get. But it's something to at least be aware of. And not be too surprised at if it if it were to happen. All right, I'm warning you all now. All right, just as a little heads up. Oh, uh, we then honestly have have all have all the ray boosts, and also he is he is another free unit, and he is boosted. I will be I will be very quickly uh, going over him because because actually right now I actually do now have him pulled up on the wiki for his 50, which is nice. And, and also endeavors very fast. We get free void weapons in here, all right? We get free void weapons. So definitely make sure you farm this event because this will save you a lot of uh, materials. This will save you a lot of uh, materials. So if I were to accept all this. Yep, I got the weapons. And those will probably be converted in... Oh, oh no, oh, those are now copies for me. All right. But yeah, though, definitely... Definitely make sure you do this event for those void weapons. You can get banes off those. You can get some free banes that start to maybe do some high dragons. Very, very worth those void weapons. And now, actually, let's go over uh, the free unit uh, very fast. So, so what? So what he does? I'm not. I, I don't want to pronounce his name. I, I'm just gonna butcher it. So the S1. Uh, light damage to enemies in a line and reduces their strength by uh, five percent is increased to ten percent for ten seconds and the, and the strength reduction does not stack. 
And now, uh, the S2, uh, light damage to your enemies directly ahead. Debuff foes take extra damage. That part has stayed. Uh, uh, strength, it becomes 10% when mana 50 And the, and the Shadow Res gets upgraded to 6%. Yes, yes, 6%. So now, he actually has 15% elemental resistance, which is actually pretty, uh, that's actually pretty good, actually. So that makes him viable for multiple th forms of content. Curse Reds gets upgrade upgraded to 100%. I like that a lot. And and then he gains a shield for 20... 10% uh, gets upgraded to 20% of uh, the max HP. Honestly, honestly, it's nice. But hey, it really just gives uh, the S1 a little bit more things to go off of. So honestly, it's not the worst in the world. He's definitely not bad. He's definitely not bad. Redu reducing strength and, and 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 having a Punisher for it is honestly pretty good. That's pretty good, honestly. I think I might do like a little like um o Omega video with him to be honest because I do have a Lycaton built up and Thor exists. But I wonder what free to play dragon I could use on him. Oh well, I'll figure that out for like a complete uh for like a complete uh fr fr free to play thing. But yeah, other than that, um. There are other prints that came out with this event too, but well, I do want to go over them when when I go over. Wait, no, you know what? I'm gonna do it now. Fuck it, I'll do it now. So prints. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought them already, so they don't show up. Damn it! All right, give me a minute. Shit, <laughs> I forgot all about it. Oh, all right. So five star is a guardian of the bond. Um, it's a Dragon Scales 1. Um, I don't know the percentage on it. Uh, let's actually, let's actually see if I can pull them, pull them up, actually. As a matter of fact, uh, they're right here. So, so Guardian Bond, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it really gets upgrades to, a uh, Dragon Scales, uh, 3. Which is, which is, a uh, pretty nice. And, uh, next up is a 4-star print. Uh, let's see if I can track that down very fast. Blessed days, my dear child. So, nope. Uh, I want to look at um, uh, my dear child. So, stun punisher that goes up to fifteen percent. Honestly, pretty cool. And now, uh, blessed days, right here. This was actually a very uh, good print, actually. This is debuff skill time, and it goes up to fourteen percent. But, but with the simple fact that we have bleeding attack and defense buffs. For, uh, for reductions at least is actually incredible that's actually nuts all right and and well this print can, can be used on meanie very well this this could even be used very well on, on a debuffing on debuffing silas potentially or even debuffing galileaf very well like this print is, is actually very good definitely pick up this print at the least because that print's really really good so either way, um, that's it for this event. I do recommend you do read of the story. It is very good because because <laughs> I find it funny of how uh, of how uh, story wise at least that that we all viewed Elysium and Ilya at, as these godlike figures that actually came in and just saved the day. When in reality, we just got a rebel and a fucking asshole. I f I love it. <laughs> it's so fucking good. But either way, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe!